Hey teachers and parents, and welcome to Math Unlocked, where I get to offer you math strategies for grades three, four, and five. My name is Miss McCarthy, the creator of McCarthy Math Academy, and I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you and all the students that you work with. I'm about to break down a fourth grade skill in this episode today on how to read numbers to the hundred thousands place. And after that, if you need some more support with this skill, I'll point you in the direction for some more videos, along with tons of videos for not only fourth grade, but third, fourth, and fifth grade. So with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, y'all, here we go with this fourth grade skill, how to read numbers to the hundred thousands place. So the very first thing that I like to do when I'm instructing my students is to make sure that we all know the place value, okay? The value of each digit. Now, a digit is a number between zero and nine. So this number right here has six digits, the digit five, one, eight, zero, four, and seven. And each digit is in a special place. Okay, so the seven is in the ones place, the four is in the tens place, the zero is in the hundreds place, and right here we have a comma. Now the comma has a special job. When we are reading the number and we get to that comma, it close, it closes the period that we are leaving, okay? Now we'll get to that in just a second because right here, the ones, tens, and hundreds place, they're part of a little group, a little community, a little neighborhood that is called the ones period. Cool, and this comma right here separates each period. So as we're moving on to that digit eight, we're entering into a new period, starting with the one thousands place. A lot of people just refer to it as the thousands place. That's totally fine. But I think it's important to call it the one thousands place because then we start to see that pattern of ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. And that ones, tens, hundreds keeps repeating on and on and on through all the periods. This period right here is referred to as the thousands period, thousands period. Cool, so it's important for your students to know that. And also, one more thing, is that it's important for your students to know that any digit that is in the hundreds place or the hundred thousands place or the hundred millions or hundred billions or hundred trillions, any one of those, we need to make sure that we say the name hundred before we move on. Okay, so I'm gonna practice reading this one. All right, so this would be five, hundred eighteen thousand so you see right there the hundreds place we need to say five hundred and slide to the comma five hundred read the rest five hundred eighteen thousand that comma right there that closes up the period and the way that we close the period is to say the one that we're leaving we're leaving the thousands place so we say it again 518,000, and here we have zero, so we don't need to say it, okay? So we would just say 47. Now let's put that all together. 518,000, 47. 518,047, that is how you would read this number. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next problem or the next number to read, rather. And I'm gonna speed this up a little bit, okay? So we've got the ones, tens, hundreds place. I'll make sure I say that name. One thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and I'll make sure that I say that name. So here we go, say my name and slide. Four hundred, nine thousand, seven hundred, nineteen. Let's do that again. Four hundred nine thousand seven hundred nineteen. Or to read it regularly, four hundred nine thousand seven hundred nineteen. So I hope that this was helpful for you. And if you're thinking, wow, I would really love some more video lessons that can help me, can help my students. Let me go ahead and point you in the direction of that right now. We're going to head over to my website, which is McCarthyMathAcademy.com.
So here we are at the website and I wanna first point you in the direction of something free that you can use right now. You go to freebies and go to math songs right here. Scroll down and here is the place value song, okay? It's, a, it's two minutes and 27 seconds and it really takes you from the ones place all the way up. You see here how we have that pattern, O, T, H, all of that. I'll go ahead and listen in real quick. Name it in each place and its value. I see you dancing on the decimal. Let's take it to the left. Ones, tens, hundreds. A comma splits the periods. One thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, comma. Soon you'll learn to follow the pattern. And keep it crawl millions, billions, trillions. We'll back it up to the decimal and take it to the right now. Tens, hundreds, thousands. Here we go again. Cool, so there you can see is a song that can help you, help you and your students to identify the place value because a lot of times they're like, oh, what place is this in? But if they can go ones, tens, hundreds, comma splits of periods, it's super valuable, super helpful, and it's quick. So you can definitely use that to help you. That is free. Let's see what else we've got. Um, if you go right here to Florida best. My audience is primarily in Florida, Florida teachers, Florida students. So I create a lot of content that is really specifically geared to Florida. Um, you can click right here about taking on the best and you can sign up. You can read a little bit about it, but then sign up right here for your free trial. There's also a video right here that can help walk you through that trial. And when you do that, you can go over here to members enter here and taking on the best. We're gonna click on fourth grade and you can see where it says free trial this way. Now all of these topics right here, these strands is what how we refer to them in Florida, they are available with the membership, but you can open the NSO strand right here with the free trial. Okay, so now here we are with everything that's in the NSO, number sense and operations benchmarks in Florida. And right here is where the free trial is. So if you click that, and open up right here, you'll see foundational skills with place value. And in this video, I present the same content that I did in this episode to students with the foundational skills. And then we build on that with 10 times greater and 10 times less, which I believe we worked on in the last episode that I put out last week. So there's that. Um, each benchmark here has three different levels, the bronze, the silver, and the gold. The silver, lots of printables for you to be able to use to just print and go if you're a teacher or if you're a parent to be able to print and go. There is also a workbook available too if you're a parent and you would like to just hold everything together. Okay, so lots and lots of goodies. And then I'm gonna go to the gold plan too and show you, you've got a mini assessment, you've got answer keys. This is for every single skill in fourth grade. So. This can help you out for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and click right here on McCarthy Math 155. And if you click on fourth grade, this place value unit right here, this is also in, included in your free trial. So definitely check this out. Go to unit one. There are 17 video lessons on place value. And you'll notice when I scroll down, here we go. We've got practice reading numbers going from standard form to word form and all of that, which is basically what we did today, reading numbers and then writing them in word form. So you can check out all of those. All that's free for your free trial. Um, and just remember that the free trial for fourth grade includes, it opens up to this benchmark right here. All of the other ones are unlocked with a membership. So just keep that in mind. But if you're looking for an entire year of fourth grade support, the membership, you definitely want to check that out. So there you go. If you're looking for some more support, McCarthy Math Academy can help you out. Go ahead and get yourself that free trial. And when you're ready to sign up for a membership to get access to all of fourth grade or all of third, fourth, and fifth grade, there's tons of options. You can do that. Now, as it says below right here, don't be a stranger. If you have any questions, that's what I'm here for. Please email me at McCarthyMathAcademy at gmail.com. And just so you know, the cost of a taking on the best membership is a fraction of the price that tutoring costs. So just keep that in mind. Now the links to everything that we talked about are down below. That's the place value song, 
the free trial, and how to get a membership, all of that is below. Now, I certainly hope that you have found this video to be helpful. And if you are looking for a way to help me out for free, that would be to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And actually, that's a way to add value to your life because you'll be the first to know when I drop a new video. By subscribing to my channel, that continues to allow me to bring content to you for free. So thank you so much, and I will see you in the next episode.